All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Congratulations to all of our Redmus interns. Your hard work has definitely paid off. Congratulations, everyone. We want to say a big thank you to our sponsors. We're going to start by thanking Redmus Inc. for sponsoring. Um, next slide, please. CompTIA, we are um, authorized partner, ADDI, Diaspora Care, and Arethmus Academy. Thank you so much to our partners and our sponsors. I want to quickly um, introduce you to our instructor for the internship, which we all know, Dr. Emmanuel Ardu is the one that teaches our class. He's a former United States Army captain, cybersecurity expert and consultant, former professor at the University of Maryland Global Campus and Central Texas College, founder of Eretmus Inc. and Eretmus Academy, and over 21 years in the IT industry. So this is a timeline of our internship program for this particular cohort. This group started in May of 2024. And uh, we're gonna look at some of the projects that we work on during our internship. So the curriculum focuses on actionable projects for the companies the interns are assigned to. Now this program will impart practical knowledge and cybersecurity experience through hands-on projects. It equips interns with the skills that are necessary to effectively assess, develop, and implement cybersecurity principles, strategies, policies, and frameworks. The internship program ensures that interns understand the best practices, policies, and frameworks that guide cybersecurity efforts and have the hands-on skills that are needed to implement, manage, and respond to cybersecurity challenges effectively. Now let's break down our internship um, curriculum by week. Now the very first week zero, what usually happens here is there's an onboarding and of course an introduction to cybersecurity GRC. There's an overview and importance of cybersecurity GRC, introduction to the internship program, and also the students gets to meet the companies. In week one, we go through governance, policies, and frameworks. Everything begins with policies. So that's very important, sets the foundation. The very first project is the review and assess the company's cybersecurity policies. Then there's a workshop that's assigned to the interns and is an introduction to cybersecurity governance framework. Now for week two, is risk management, where you're identifying and assessing risks. Project two will conduct a comprehensive risk assessment for the assigned company. And of course, the workshop is risk assessment methodologies and tools. We're gonna to continue with the um, curriculum. Now for week three, we look at compliance, legal and regulatory requirements. Project three, there's a compliance review with cybersecurity regulations. And there's a workshop with the cybersecurity laws and regulations. In week four, the security architecture and controls. Now project four, they look at security controls, the effectiveness and uh, evaluation of it. Workshop is uh, implementing security controls and architecture best practices. In week five, we have an incident response and management. Project five, a develop and refine the incident response plan. And the workshop is an incident response strategies and simulation exercises. Now, moving on to week six. Six um, is a business continuity and disaster recovery planning. And the project six is a business um, continuity and disaster recovery planning assessment. And the workshop is developing and maintaining recovery plans. Week seven is a third party risk management. And project seven, you assess and manage third party risks that are associated with vendors and partners. And moving on to week eight, cybersecurity audit 
and assurance. Line Project 8 conducts a mock cybersecurity audit, including third-party risk assessment. For the workshop is an audit principles and conducting effective cybersecurity audits. Now, there's a message from our main sponsor, the Arachnus Academy. Now, Redis Academy offers a range of cybersecurity courses that are aimed at beginners, intermediate learners, and advanced professionals. The Academy focuses on providing hands-on training to prepare students for high-demand roles in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity for Beginners, a free introductory course that covers the basics of cybersecurity, career paths, and real-world tools to help students understand fundamental concepts. Cybersecurity entry-level course. This is a more in-depth program designed for those looking to break into the cybersecurity field. It includes hands-on labs, workshops, and job placement assistance to help students transition into the workforce. Hands-on training. Eretmus emphasizes practical skills by offering hands-on training in cybersecurity tools like Wireshack, um, Kali Linux, and Nessus. Students also build their own cybersecurity labs to practice skills that are relevant to penetration testing, network security, and vulnerability management. Now, at Redmond's Academy, you have the certification prep, and courses are available for industry certifications such as CompTIA, Security Plus, and CISSP, which prepare students for high-demand roles in cybersecurity, payment security compliance. These specialized courses, such as Payment Security Compliance for Beginners and GRC and Payment Security Compliance Specialists focus on safeguarding payment systems and ensuring compliance with regulations like PCI DSS. These programs are designed for both entry-level learners and advanced professionals. Cybersecurity GRC Internship Program. This internship provides hands-on experience in governance, risk and compliance, equipping participants with skills in risk management, security controls, and compliance audits. It also includes job placement assistance to help learners secure roles in this specialized area. Eretmus Academy's offerings are flexible with options for self-paced learning and various payment plans making it accessible for students from all backgrounds. The Academy is particularly focused on closing the talent gap in cybersecurity by equipping students with the practical skills and certifications needed for high paying jobs in the industry. Here's how you get started. You go to eredmusacademy.com. You can find us on YouTube as Eredmus Academy and also on Facebook as Eretmus Academy. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker. Did someone say something? Okay, let's mute ourselves, please. It is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker for today, Bettina Kwateng, who is a cybersecurity professional and a past intern. Bettina, take it away. Thank you very much, Isosa. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so as you all know, my name is Bettina Kwateng, a cybersecurity manager and an old intern of Eridmus Academy. Same as most or all of you, I joined Eridmus with no experience in cybersecurity. I was a legal practitioner and Eredmus Academy made it easy for the switch into this amazing and one of the most successful careers in the world we find ourselves in currently. That being said, it is an absolute honor to be here today as your guest speaker. Looking at all of you joining in here today, I am reminded of the potential each of you holds. 
Today is a celebration of your hard work, your perseverance, and your dedication to reaching this important milestone. You should all be incredibly proud. Graduation is a momentous occasion, a time when the world truly opens in front of you, full of opportunities and possibilities. I remember my own graduation a few months ago. I felt a mix of excitement, optimism, and if I must be honest, a little anxiety about what the future may hold. But looking back, what I see most clearly are the lessons I learned along the way, not just in the studying and the internship, but also in life. As a cybersecurity professional, I've come to understand that the world we live in is constantly changing. Technology evolves, new challenges arise, and we are required to adapt quickly. I know many of you here today will encounter similar challenges. The pace of change can feel overwhelming, but the same change offers incredible opportunities for those who are willing to learn and grow. So today, I want to leave you with three key ideas that have guided me throughout my career and that I hope will serve you well in whatever path you choose to follow. The first one will be to embrace a lifelong learning. Your education does not stop today. In fact, it is the beginning. In fields like cybersecurity, we know that learning never ends. There will always be new threats, new technologies, and new solutions to master. You need to stay curious, stay engaged, and never stop seeking knowledge. Your willingness to adapt and evolve is what will set you apart. The second one will be do not fear failure. Many of you will experience setbacks. It's inevitable. There will be moments when things don't go as planned, and that is okay. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is part of the journey. Every misstep is an opportunity to learn something new. I found that some of my professional successes came after moments of failure, when I was forced to pivot, rethink, and grow. So don't be afraid to take risks and make mistakes because that's where the growth happens. And you all are fortunate to be part of a redness community, a place where if you are tired, if you hit a rock, if you fail or if you get scared, you will always find a place, a community to direct, encourage you and guide your path. Finally, build strong relationships. Your education has given you knowledge and skills and the people you meet along the way your mentors, colleagues, and friends will play an equally important role in your success. In this field, collaboration is key. No one person can solve the complex challenges we face in cybersecurity, and no one can achieve success entirely on your own. Build a network of support, and don't be afraid to lean on others when you need to. Remember to also give back, mentoring those who will mentor who comes after you. Today is a turning point for all of you. The world is waiting for your contribution and innovation and unique perspective. As you step into the next chapter of your lives, know that the challenges ahead are not roadblocks. They are opportunities. You have been prepared. You have been tested and you are ready to make the mark. Go out there and make Dr. Emmanuel Edu proud. Make a Redmond Academy proud and make yourselves proud. Congratulations to all of you. I am confident that the future is brighter because of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Bettina. That was so beautiful. Stay curious and stay engaged. Thank you. Now we're gonna take a look at what our interns, our graduating interns are going to be receiving today, which is this is a certificate of completion. You're gonna have that awarded to you along with your name. So please um, watch out for that in your email. 
Uh, we're going to start out, I want to introduce the very first company, which is Diaspora Care, and the group leader, um, I'm going to hand that over to you shortly. And what you're going to do, group leaders, is that you're going to introduce yourself. You're going to talk about your group and also introduce every single person in your group. So Diaspora Care um, group leader is uh, Morenike Onifade. I'm going to hand it over to you to go ahead and introduce yourself and your group. Hi, uh, thank you for that. Uh, good morning, everyone. Hope you all are well. Um, my name is Marenike Onifade, as previously mentioned. Um, I am the group leader of Diaspora Care. Uh, before we start, I just want to say congratulations to all the interns. Um, Y'all did amazing, and it was amazing to learn from you guys during the course of this internship. Uh, my experience with this internship was it really just taught me a lot um, not just about the technical stuff, but about being a leader. I didn't expect to be put in a leadership role, um, but I did, and I'm really grateful for the experience. Um, I've learned to be a listener and not just like a speaker, and I've learned to advocate for other people's needs and be present, and I'm really just grateful to this academy for teaching me so much, and I'm definitely not leaving the same way I came. Um, and the group that I have, the group diaspora care, I think we're really good. Um, we've really bonded over this experience. Not only have we learned from each other, but we've really become a family. And I'll always be grateful um, to this program for giving me that. Uh, next slide, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, we have the team A leader. Uh, we have Emmanuel. And he says, this internship program is truly a hands-on as giving me the opportunity to practically do those cybersecurity topics and contents I have read, learned, and even gotten certifications for. The program has enhanced my practical knowledge and equipped me to be a better GRC specialist. Thank you, Emmanuel. Uh, next, we have the Team B leader, Glenda Wellborn. I've learned a lot from our hands-on assignments in the GRC class and from my classmates to understanding the cybersecurity frameworks and policies and the roles and responsibilities under governance. I look forward to the Friday chats because I'm still learning and now we are preparing for the interview phase, which is awesome. Thank you, Dr. Adu and the Rectness Academy. Thank you, Glenda. Next slide. Uh, next, we have the assistant team B leader. Uh, we have engineer Clement Okegbe. He says, my internship at Eretmus Academy was truly transformative. It not only boosted my confidence and my hands-on skills, but also significantly developed my leadership in the cybersecurity field. The resources provided were unmatched, far surpassing those I've encountered in previous programs. Dr. Adu and his team are exceptional, and I highly recommend Eretmus Academy to anyone aspiring to excel in the global IT space. Thank you, Eretmus Academy. Thank you, Clement. Next, we have Jacqueline Aburame. This internship has been an extraordinary journey into the world of governance, risk, and compliance, allowing me to refine my skills in risk management, compliance assurance, and building secure business environments. I'm deeply grateful to my amazing team members and mentors for their constant support and guidance throughout this experience. A special heartfelt message to Dr. Adu, whose expertise and mentorship has been transformative and pivotal to my growth. I'm eager to apply these invaluable lessons in the future and contribute to creating secure, compliant organizations. To my fellow interns, congratulations. I wish you all the very best in your careers ahead and I look forward to staying connected with you as we move forward. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, we have Jaffet who says, my experience with the Diaspora Care Internship was amazing, although I didn't say much, but I had a lot of experience and understanding with the team, and I would like to say thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Next, we have Mike. I started this interesting journey from zero to now confidently knowledgeable. It all began on January 1st when I enrolled in the entry-level course after speaking with Dr. Adu a few days earlier. Joined the internship in May, and here I am today, having completed the internship feeling confident about my opportunities ahead. Thanks to my family, friends who supported Eretmus Academy, our mentors, and my personal mentor, Mr. Michael Yaboya. Most importantly, my 
horse mates for the collaborative efforts. Thank God for this day and everything. Thank you, Mike. And we have Nana who says the internship program is a brilliant initiative by Arithmetic Academy and Dr. Adu. It has been an eye opener for me and I say thank you. I appreciate my group members for all their efforts with special mentions of Jacqueline, Michael, and Marenica. You guys were awesome. Cheers to an exciting new career in cybersecurity. Thank you, Nana. Uh, we have a couple team members that didn't get to submit anything. We have Andrew, Petrus, and we have Richard. Shout out to them. Then we have the awards for most technical knowledge. We have um, Jacqueline and I for the most valuable we have Jacqueline, very valuable member. Even though she came in late, she really like helped us a lot to keep things running. She was a true leader. Um, we have the most active. We have Jacqueline and Michael always coming to meetings, always contributing ideas. Shout out to them. We have the most resourceful. We have Michael, like I said, always contributing stuff in meetings. And most helpful, we have Emmanuel, always keeping the mood very bright during our meetings, always has a lot to say, um, very helpful with our um, work. So yeah, shout out to all my team members. Like I said, I'm really grateful for this experience. Uh, congratulations again to all the interns. Thank you. Thank you so much, Moreni Care. So we're going to move on to the next group. I will introduce ADDI and just introduce the group leader, um, I think it's Shango Walker. And Shango, you're gonna go ahead and introduce yourself and introduce everyone in your group. Thank you everyone. My name is Shango Walker. My wonderful team have awarded me the group lead, which, uh, which is an honor for me. Uh, before I get started, I would like to thank God for this opportunity and being part of a written Academy. I wanna thank a written Academy, uh, Dr. Adu his staff, his lovely wife, our rival, Diaspora Care, and all the children of a written Academy. <clears throat> um, I am an over-the-road truck driver for 14 years. I started Dr. Du's internship in 2022, and it is a wonderful experience for me. The practical skills that you've learned get you prepared for all uh, sorts of positions here in GRC. But before I introduce my team, I would like to say a very brief um, presentation <clears throat> by um, a doctor, a professor, Daniel Black at Clark Atlanta University. And it goes like this. Here they come, y'all, here they come. Here they come, y'all, here they come. Here they come, y'all, here they come. Chief Risk Officer, Chief Compliance Officer, Governor's Risk Compliance Manager, Internal Auditor, GRC Analyst. Here they come, y'all, here they come. PCI Compliance Manager, Qualified Security Assessor, Internal Security Assessor, Compliance <clears throat> Payment Security Officer. Here they come, y'all, here they come. Incident Response Manager, Protection Data Officer, Vulnerability Risk Specialist Penetration Tester. In this internship, you will be able to perform all of these positions in all facets of cybersecurity. We're, we're at war in the field of cybersecurity, and Dr. Adu is our chief, commander in chief. I like to, we're going to do things different here at Team ADDI, and I would love to turn my presentation over to my assistant lead, Olan. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining uh, Team ADDI and Diaspora Care in our graduation. I really, really appreciate it. I do appreciate uh, Dr. Adu and the staff, as well as um, everybody else that, that, that has contributed to our success here. Um, my name is Olan Ray Waju, Madhuri Timi. Uh, I'm the assistant group lead. Um, let me finish. Let me start my comment. Uh, I started my cybersecurity training at a at a Ritmus Academy, feeling disheartened and in need of a fresh start. By previous experience with a different program, 
had left me frustrated and disappointed due to its lack of organization and effectiveness. However, I came across the Rhythmus Academy by chance and despite my initial skepticism, decided to give it a try. I am thrilled with the result I achieved after completing this program. I now feel confident in my skills and abilities to excel in interviews and prospective job opportunities. I not only appreciate the program, but I also admire Dr. Du for his patience, accessibility to students, which is not always easy to find. I am eager to enter the workforce, gain valuable experience, and eventually return to contribute to the Arrhythmus community. I also aspire to take on the PCI DSS program and establish my own cyber cybersecurity business, all while benefiting from the guidance of Dr. Du and Arrhythmus. I'm sincerely grateful to Dr. Du for his invaluable role in my GRC growth. Finally, I want to express my gratitude to my ADDI team. Despite encountering some challenges along the way, we successfully reached our goal, and I hope to stay connected as we each embark on our next endeavors. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Giovanni is not here. Uh, he's our young prince who went into military. He's a 19 year old. Giovanni has already demonstrated exceptional talent and passion in cybersecurity. A brilliant young man <clears throat> as he was part of his pre prestigious Arithmetic Academy GRC internship. We has quickly learning leadership and collaboration skills shown brightly. But, Again, Giovanni isn't here, but he's in the military as of right now, and he's greatly been a part of our security team, and he'll be greatly missed. Thank you, Giovanni. Hola. Okay. Um, Mr. Valentine is not able to speak, so I'll speak for him. Um, at Arrhythmus, internship provided an excellent learning environment with ample opportunities to develop practical skills in GRC and cybersecurity. The mentorship that I received from Dr. Du was instrumental in guiding my professional growth and the collaborative hands-on training and culture made my experience enriching and worthwhile. Um, yeah, my experience with Everything's Academy is the best experience I have so far among all the cybersecurity institutions I've attended. The intensive hands-on training was awesome, which exposed me to practical training on all cybersecurity, all GRC aspects. The program have really prepared me to be confident and bold to apply for all GRC job position. I will encourage everyone who wants to become a cybersecurity or GRC analyst to come to Everything's Academy for the best experience in cybersecurity training. Please kindly tell your friends to tell their friends to join Everything's Academy for the best cybersecurity training. Thank you. Gratitude fills my heart as I reflect on this journey. It's such a short time, and I have gained a wealth of experience and knowledge. But more importantly, I have built relationships that continue to shape my growth. Arithmus has been a true bridge, guiding me from the obscure to the advanced. Thank you, Arithmus, for being a part of this transformation. And as Sam 465 reminds us, I go forth to prosper. Thank you, guys. All right, I'll be speaking for Mr. Morali. He is not available right now. Um, I would like to thank Dr. Du and my entire ADDI group for all the support, time, and help I got during this training. I learned a lot and now on my journey with PCI DSS Expert Program, I really enjoyed the positive energy, vibe and group with full of fire and all toward achieving the goal and being successful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very grateful for everything that went on both in cyber chat and in our individual teams. I really thank Dr. Edu for the opportunities in his time and also for Arithmus in a whole. ADDI was, is, and will always be my team and family. I really appreciate the friendship and the family we have become. My prayer is for this great family to be, to not to be broken after everything. 
Thank you all for the fun studies and love. God bless you and good luck out there. Good morning. Um, I will first like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Edu and my amazing team for all the dedication and support they provided through this internship. The journey has been nothing sort of incredible, filled with growth, learning, and success. Um, this experience has not only sharpened my skills, but also fueled my passion for cybersecurity. I'm looking forward to leverage all the knowledge and the insight I gained to contribute to the protection and resilience of the organization I will share in the future, I will serve in the future. Um, I hope the world is ready for these new cyber heroes. Thank you, Dr. Edu, and thank you to the ADDI team. The Redmiss Academy Cybersecurity Careers Internship is a highly engaging program that teaches practical solutions to cybersecurity problems that currently exist in the world. The trainer is very patient and by extension goes beyond the ordinary to deliver excellent results. The lectures and practical assignments have equipped us with knowledge of real-time cybersecurity issues as well as the solutions to solve them. In addition, the program is highly immersive and extremely helpful as it uses an experiential learning approach in its delivery of the projects and assignments. We learn a lot during the program and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend the program without reservations. Thank you all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna speak for Ms. Regina. I don't think she's on. Um, I am glad, this is Ms. Regina Yaboa. Uh, I am glad to be part of the Arrhythmus Academy. The GRC internship program is a concise yet comprehensive course that delivers practical insight into GRC, IT security, or cybersecurity. From the very beginning, each, mod each module is expertly crafted offering real-world exercises that solidify understanding. Each intern is trained to be a self-starter. The instructor, Dr. Du, expertise shines through making complex concepts easier to understand. I am grateful to all my team members for their support and encouragement. Finally, I recommend this course to anyone interested in TRC. Now for our team awards for ADDI. Most technical uh, knowledge would be for myself and Miss Elizabeth. The MVP intern would be Giovanni, Mr. Shungo, and Miss Elizabeth once again. Uh, most active intern, Mr. Shungo, myself, and Giovanni. Uh, most resourceful intern, Mr. Shungo. And lastly, most helpful intern, myself, Mr. Giovanni, excuse me, Mr. Shungo, and Mr. Morale. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you so much, ADDI. Now, a message from our May 2024 cohort. If anyone wants has any comments, anything they want to say to this cohort, now is the time to do so. You can go ahead and raise your hand, and we can call on you. Please don't be shy. Yes, it can be anything, words of encouragement, anything at all, a thought. We're, we're happy to hear from you. I'd like to say something. Um, Dr. Dew's internship is really one of a kind. Um, once you get in the security team and you do your work, um, everything will start coming to you. Your head will hurt. You'll be frustrated, but you will learn. You stay up late at night. You do your work. It'll be challenging, but you will learn. And before the before your internship is over, you'll be more than prepared and have all the confidence in the world to move forward in any cybersecurity position. But the doctor do the cybersecurity god is the foundation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Jacqueline? Yes. 
Yes. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be able to speak. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I wanted to extend again my heartfelt thanks to God first for his protection throughout this program. But more of a big shout out to Dr. Edu again for his foresight, you know, in putting together a program as innovative as this and for his guidance throughout this uh, journey. It might have seemed seamless to him, but it means a lot to me and my teammates, how much time he had put in. He's always ready, you know, to chip in or when, when I don't know how he does it, has his calendar um, ready for you. You just book an appointment and it's even there before you log into that um, meeting. So I'll say thank you for what you're doing to for us and for the community, the cybersecurity community. And also, I want to express my deepest gratitude to one of my teammates, Michael Anin, whose dedication to this program set a pace of encouragement and made a significant impact on my experience. You know, those Friday nights before our presentation, when I am scrambling to piece together the unfinished work and I see him working on the shared document at 3 a.m. Eastern time, that obliterates my tiredness and I just forge on. What an experience I've had, you know. I look ahead and I'm excited to apply all the skills um, that I gained in the GRC field this internship has not only prepared me for the next step in my career, but also has ignited that passion for continuing to learn and to contribute to the field of risk management and compliance. Again, I will say congratulations to my interns on this achievement. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Clements, go ahead. Yes, so uh, good morning and uh, congratulations to all of us first. And uh, I want to say a big uh, thank you to Arithmetic Academy. And uh, I want to say uh, Dr. Adu has done a great job. I, If I haven't attended this training, I would have uh, actually be able to know what difference it is because uh, some of us have um, technology um IT background, but uh, yet not in every area. Um, what I want to say is that with the training, I've come to learn a lot, especially with uh, team management, uh, self-development, and you know, being able to uh, meet up with uh, other things to be able to meet your goals at the end. So it's been a lot, and uh, and this, no matter how short the time was, we were able to come up and uh, get something done, uh, get our goals, and what we learned so far is really something that is great. When I sit back and look through, I really uh, see that uh, it was great. I want to also thank uh, our team uh, members, both the ADDIs and the uh, diaspora care, and uh, everybody that made this very possible. Uh, congratulations once again. And also, I want, to, I want to encourage every one of us to continue with this spirit of connection, keep in touch with every group that you've, um, or every person that you've established your relationship with during this process, uh, so that uh, even in the world out there, uh, we can still be able to sharpen one another. Thank you very much. Uh, Congratulations once more. Thank you, Clement. Uh, Mike, go ahead. All right, thank you very much um, for the opportunity. Um, congratulations to us all. Um, we've done a good job and the teamwork has paid off. So um, yes, like we all saying, I also want to thank Dr. Edu for the opportunity and the, the guidance and the encouragement um he's done so much to bring us this far now um you want to think that we were the only the graduates are the only people that sacrificed no 
I said thank you to my family and friends because they also had to, you know, sacrifice and allow us to do what we had to do. So, for instance, my wife, I'll have to go pick the kids for an, an activity and I'll be like, oh, you know, I have a meeting coming up. Can you please do that for me? And she would do it. So that sacrifice was there. Even my kids, sometimes I had to deprive them of their playtime. And I'd be like, hey, you know, I have a meeting. Can you guys wait and let me finish the meeting? So, you know, everybody had uh, in one way or the other sacrifice. And sometimes they would tell me, oh, daddy, we'll wait till you finish so we can go play or we go out with you or something like that. So sacrifice came from a lot of people. My friends, mm -hmm. I have some of them that we talk like every day in the morning or whatever, but they would say, oh, I know you have a meeting, so I... I I didn't want to call you. There was one that every time I go on my call log, he's the first on top, but it got to a time I went to the call log, I couldn't find his name. So I had to go to the contact list to call him. That shows you that people pay attention to what we're doing and they want you to have your time to to study. So that was very profound um, as I found with my friends. Some were also encouraging me to study. There's one here, Evans, he's my study mate um, and I'm encouraging him to come to Eritme, so I hope he will come. I, I've actually become an evangelist of GRC, an evangelist of uh, Eritme, so I'm trying to bring people along. So yeah, that's that's one thing. Now with my team, the team has been great. Um, we had a good collaborative understanding, and we had a lot of challenges from the beginning. Our leaders that were given to us originally, some of them didn't show up. Um, so we had to end up promoting our assistant leader to the leader and then the assistant leader that we picked dropped out. So it's like we had challenges, but together we pulled it together and everybody, um, you know, contributed. So I see all of us as, as leaders. Um, Emmanuel, Glenda, um, they challenged me from the beginning. I thought like we will come and brainstorm, but before we get on, they have stuff to present. So it, it, it quickly got me to wake up and I had to also get stuff ready before we meet. And, and like Glenda said, um, we, we had to do a lot. Monique, like he, she said, was not talking and I sometimes I was wondering, but now I understand why she was quiet trying to give everybody the chance, which is a good sign of leadership. So um, thank you all guys and... Um, um, I, I've learned a lot. Like I said, I started a journey in January and so I told, uh, uh, what's her name? Jacqueline a few days ago that I just started learning this in January and she, she wouldn't believe me. It is not about what I did, but it is because Dr. Edu provided environment for, for learning. So from January to now, uh, when I talk, they, they, they think I've been doing this for, <laughs> for years. So this attests to the fact that this is a good learning environment. And I would encourage anybody who wants to come on to get onto um, Eritme. So thank you once again. And thank you, everybody, for showing up to support us. Thank you, Mike. And I definitely second um, spreading the word for Eritmus and being um, an evangelist, <laughs> Eritmus evangelist. We do great work here. We're very, very, very proud. Elizabeth, go ahead. Hi, I don't think I have um, shown gratitude to Dr. Edu. I'd just like to testify to his leadership skills, his patience. Uh, he's uh, way more than a business owner. He has shown incredible skills. I have been noticing that. And um, he has been so patient with every single body. And especially when I had my first interview, when it came to GRC, I contacted him in the shortest period of time, yet he still responded. And I'm so grateful for that. I am. Uh, I will definitely be referring Arithmus to everyone that I know. This has been an impactful learning and experience for me. So thank you so much, Dr. Emmanuel Edu. All right, thank you. Olara Aju. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Um, I understand there's people on here that, that are probably still on defense of joining or just started the program. And I really would like to hear your questions because um, I'm pretty sure my uh, team ADDI as well as DASPK can give you some great guidance. Um, this is a great program. Uh, it has uh, it has enhanced my 
cybersecurity awareness and uh, education. But like I said in my uh, comments, I was in a previous program. It will continue to remain nameless. And it didn't give me what Dr. Du's program gave me. Um, it's very thorough, very hands-on. Um, it's going to prepare you. No, and I haven't. I know I haven't got a job yet, but I feel extremely confident because when we join a program, we want to learn, right? We want to have hands-on experience. Not everybody always gives you that. Doctor Du gives you that. So, Doctor Du, again, thank. I see you here. I appreciate you. Um, uh, this is a wealth of knowledge that I've uh, attained in this short period of time, and um, I even show off to my uh, my lady. I always tell her this is what I learned, and this is root. This is going to be great for us because we're growing a family as well. So I appreciate you, Dr. Du, uh, and everything you do. And I appreciate my team, ADDI. And even though we had our little competitive back and forth with Daspica, I really appreciate you guys because you did push us. Um, there, I don't know I don't know about you guys, but I know for our team that uh, we felt like it was a uh, friendly competition. So when we got things together every weekend, we made sure that we brought the uh, the competitiveness. So. I hope you guys see that every time we present it. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you. We've got a little battle going on there. Shango, go ahead. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We did uh, battle with Diaspora Care and Diaspora Care battle with us. And that is the reason why we are confident in going out into the battlefield, out into the real world. Uh, I want to give the most highest praise I possibly can to Dr. Emmanuel Du, because Dr. Du carried many titles. He's a teacher, he's a professor, he's a soldier, he's a father, he's an uncle, he's a son, he's a nephew. But one of the greatest things about Dr. Du that he is a grown man and he has a grown man program, internship, workshop. He's a fantastic leader. He has more patience than I can possibly imagine. And so does his wife. Let the truth be told. So does his wife and his wonderful children. And if I can do it all over again, I've been here since 2022. I would do it all over again. Thank you so much, Dr. Du and your staff. God bless you. Well said, Shango. Well said. Thank you, Dr. Adu. We really, truly appreciate you. Uh, so we're going to take a message from the Redness Academy at large. So anybody who is in part of this cohort has anything they want to say, any encouragement, any recommendations, anything at all, please go ahead and raise your virtual hand so that we can call on you. We would love to hear from you. Go ahead, Sandra. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Dr. Du again, because when I was introduced to this program, honestly, I was hesitating. I was like, I don't know anything about IT and this cybersecurity thing. Well, I hope he's patient. And I called him and he was really patient. He was calm with me. And I really, I'm glad that I joined it. And honestly, I don't know anything, but as that class went on, I felt like I know a lot. So I thought a co-worker said, work. I'm going to be leaving you guys soon because I'm in this program called Eritrean Academy and all cyber security. And I know this, this, that. So my dad would come to me. Oh, do you see this on my phone? I said, it's not good. doesn't work. We did it in class. So I know. So I thank Dr. Edu for being patient. And Eritrean, I'm spreading you out there. I tell everybody about you. So more people to come, Dr. Edu. God, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much, Sandra. Teresa? Hi, everyone. This is Teresa here. Um, I just joined based on Dr. Edu's uh, notice I saw for the graduation. I'm a past intern from last year, June, and I'm currently working as a vulnerability manager. All I can say to you all is that it's a race against your own self to get a job. Every instruction, every detail that Dr. Tedu has shared with you, do that. Go ahead to do your resumes and just connect with him. Do the job search. 
and you will land a job because I was at your place last year and following all those instructions, I'm currently working and I got a job. So just don't relax and race against your own self. Do not let, you know, I know once you leave, sometimes being on your own situations, you come, you might want to give up, but do not give up. Just even if you are waiting for two, three months, do not give up because some of my teammates, um, they got job. I, we finished last year, June. Somebody got a job last month. You know, the person did not give up. So just stay on course, stay focused, believe in yourself that you have something in yourself that you can provide. When you get an interview, speak like that's your lifeline and you are going to, um, at the end, get a job. So I just want to say congratulations to you all. You came to a good place and make sure that the information that you have been given is put to good use. Um, thank you all and congratulations. Thank you, Teresa. Emmanuel, go ahead. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you, Sasa, for the opportunity. Uh, what I want to say is like a kind of suggestion. I want to suggest that the weekly meeting for one hour, if you can look at it, make it at least two hours. Because sometimes like that one hour may not be enough for us to tap or want to tap from the Dr. Do. And when the two teams are making presentation, we see ourselves making preparation, trying to scrabble. You know, if we can increase the hour to two hours, I think to be more profitable to the intent, for the intent rather. Thank you very much, just a suggestion. Thank you for your suggestion. Bettina, go ahead. Okay, so something little that I would tell everyone is um, when you are going for an interviews, try not to be scared. I mean, it's normal to feel that way. It's always best you like you record yourself during the interviews. I mean, you may you may or may not get the job on the first interview, but if you do that for yourself, after every interview, you listen in and then you correct yourselves moving forward. It's It really helps you a lot. The second thing, too, is I noticed that in most of the internships or during my time, I felt like it was people thought it was a competition. And I always used to tell my group mates at that time that, listen, you all are coming in together as a group to work together. However, you're studying for yourself. Try not to let everything be like a competition. So for those that are still in the internship um, now and all of you that are done, I mean, once you get out there, always know that it's, it's a, it's, it's a group thing. You're all working towards one goal. It's not a competition. You are learning for yourself and to do better for yourself. So try to have that at the back of your minds all the time. And I think you'll do great. Thank you. Thank you, Bettina. Very well said. So we have any closing remarks from interns, attendees, or anyone in the audience. Now is the time. We would love to hear from you. Thank you. Go ahead, Shango. Yes, thank you so much. Um, I would like to give out a personal shout out to our wonderful professional point of contact with ADDI. He know who he is. He's such a wonderful man, and he really helped us during our internship. And that's the best. He was one of the best parts of our workshop. Thank you so much. Elizabeth. Hey, um, I sure will miss you guys. It's been a couple of months, so it's been so consistent. <laughs> so breaking that pattern is wow. But I just want to wish everybody success. I am very sure we will all get a job because of everything we've learned. It's been very, very impactful. For, so we have that confidence going into that job. And if anyone has any questions or if you, you need help with anything, I think it's, it would be great if we merge as a group. And so we can grow um, in this period of um, our interview session so we can learn together and be better. So good luck, everybody. Thank you, Elizabeth. Larry. Um, I want to say congratulations to every um, intern graduate. Um, for me, um, I will just be part of the incoming uh, um, internship uh, 
uh, the next batch. That's what I will be. But hearing to all what everybody has been saying, I think it gives so many people that are in my own uh, category a faith that yes, that the future is uh, is much brighter. And um, I just want to say congratulations, and I wish everyone um, a, a good show out there. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Before we go to the vote of thanks, um, for those of you that are on the fence or those of you that are about to um, join a Red Miss Academy, I just wanna leave you with this. At the beginning of class, when you hear Dr. Adu say, hey everyone, how's everybody doing? Remember that is your time to stay curious and stay engaged. So I'll just leave it for a few more seconds if anybody else wants to say anything. Um, as part of our closing remarks before we go ahead and do our vote of thanks. Aldrin, go ahead. Thank you, thank you very much. I would just like to congratulate uh, Dr. Edu and the entire Ritmas uh, family. I think uh, you guys are doing a wonderful job. I mean, I, I can't remember from the time I was there as, as, a, as an intern for the for the PCI DSS, and also I came back for the GRC. I mean, Doctor, do you are doing a wonderful job? Um, I just can't say more. But for this is particular for those of you who have not joined and you are on this uh, on, on this call. If you really need to go into GRC, it doesn't matter whether it's GRC or any other cybersecurity, and you're not in cyber or in, in IT even. This is the right place. I know lots of you have put in a lot of energy, and uh, one person I really uh, that has left me a marvel is uh, uh, Mr. Shango. I'm just saying, Mr. Shango joined in from non-IT background, and he's been pestering me for everything IT here and there from the classic. Guys, this is not just an internship; it is an investment. You get out. The more you invest in it, the more you get out. And I'm seeing all these leadership skills. And many of you actually imagine you have nothing to bring in, especially when you're not coming from IT. You come in with a lot of experience, leadership, interpersonal relationships, which is about 60 to 70 percent of the requirements for any IT job. So uh, Arithmas is the best place for you. And I encourage all of us to keep coming in. I've just come, uh, I've joined in. I've been uh, doing these things uh, three in the morning in, in Kenya for the entire time all the cyber chats, all the classes, three in the morning. So you can imagine sometimes I've had to stay awake up to three, so I'm still alert. Now, I've, I've come into, into the US, so it's a lot easier right now. It's morning. I can, I can actually enjoy this one. So thank you, everybody, and join in. Arithmas is the place. Thank you. Thank you. What dedication. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Miller? Hi, everyone, and um, congratulations to all those who are graduating today. So I got to know about the Rhythmies in the very uh, funny way. I went to have my hair done with my friend and loctician, and then he was listening, and I was really fascinated by all I was hearing because I have taken a couple of um, cybersecurity classes in the past, and let's just say they weren't the best. It was just like, you know, walking towards the answer without a proper structure. And then I asked my friend about, you know, details. I scheduled a call with um, Dr. Adu and he, I mean, before putting that, um, scheduling that call, I went to look him up and I saw the very intimidating credentials and I was like, wow. And then I scheduled a call and it was there. Like, I was just like blown by the humility and, you know, he listened to all my questions and I was convinced. That I'm not yet in the right means it's not because I'm not ready. It's just because I'm still putting the resources together to join. I know for a fact I'm joining and I know it's going to be successful. I just want to thank him because I've joined a couple of the um, question and answer sessions and they've been so insightful. I've learned a lot. So I want to say thank you to Dr. Adu and his team for the structure, for all that he's doing for the community. Thank you. Thank you, Miller. I'm going to um, hand it over to Dr. Adu so that he can address everyone. Uh, thank you, Sosa, for uh, running the whole entire program uh, very well. And I think uh, Teresa had her hand up. Uh, do you want me to go before uh, Teresa comes in or? Yeah, 
Oh, Teresa, I didn't see your hand. Teresa, go ahead, and after that, we'll go to Dr. Adu. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Just want to uh, thank Dr. Adu so much for what he is doing. And I just want to tell the, the group that it's not just, I mean, taking the training alone is not the end. He's a huge support when you have to find a job. He's like a father, a friend, and everything. And I can't say this enough. I remember during my interviews, I will just send him the job description. And Dr. Drew will call me, uh, even after the, the appointment time, do you have time to talk? And this man will come with all the narratives that I need to prep for this interview. And I'm like, this is beyond how much I paid, you know? So you came to a good place. And if there's somebody on that is contemplating to join, it goes beyond this training. He's a huge support even after you get a job. It's a lifelong journey. And I, I just hope that nobody on here who is contemplating will hesitate to join because I can't just praise Dr. Do enough. His program goes beyond the training to the support he will give you to find a job and even the support after, even when you need help on the job. So thank you, Dr. Do, and God bless you. Uh, thank you, Teresa. So for uh, all our graduates, I will say a big thank you uh, for your time and effort. The two months uh, we went, always we go a little bit like two weeks, uh, three weeks after, you know, uh, over the the eight weeks that we uh, stipulated for the program. Uh, the time and the effort that you put into this uh People who've actually gone through this are the ones who appreciate what you've gone through, right? Uh, what we put together is intense. Uh, frankly, if you know all of you were not superheroes, you wouldn't be able to go through this and have it done because the projects that you work on, uh, every single project on the job, they can drag it out almost six months, seven months uh, to do third party is a real caring project. Like you do it almost like all year, right? To do an audit, uh, to do an assessment, even if it's not like a hard uh, uh, audit, still going to take you a good three months, four months, but you are doing it in weeks, right? And, you know, combining that with your family, with work, that is not easy. And But the stress that we put you through, uh, it is all part of the program, right? Uh, because that sharpens your, your skills, project management skills, you know, how to move things around, like uh, Mike was saying, you know, how to move things around, family, friends, you know, put some things on hold because you are investing in yourself. You are investing in your future, right? And what I want to tell everybody is do not forget the reason why you joined this program. So you are done. You are at the top of the mountain. Now you've conquered uh, GRC and cybersecurity. You are at the top. You can do the job. You know in yourself, everybody on here, deep down in your heart, you have that confidence. You can speak to things that you've done. You can do the work if you're given the chance. But, you know, as human as we are, complacency, right? We are done. Sometimes some people will also be a bit scared. You know, it's like you are really looking forward to this, you know, game. Maybe probably you play soccer, you play NFL, you play whatever. There is this huge finals. You know, you're anticipating you want to win the trophy. And come the day of the finals, everybody's like shaking in their boots. Right now, that is where you are. You are done. You can do the job. The next step is to, you know, land your first, second cybersecurity job, GRC roles. Some people will be a little bit scared and they will hide behind. You know, when you have something you really have to do, like a final in school or you have to study for something and you just, that is when you, you know, start discovering problems at home. Yeah, I have to fix this door. I have to, you are doing everything else not to do what you're supposed to do. Don't get into that space because now, now that is the time that people are going to go through back to their notes. Let me go start from week one, start preparing myself and making sure, you know, convince myself. No, you are just BSing to get away from interview. I was just going to tell you that straight up. Everybody on here, without going back to your notes, you can start applying and start interviewing. So don't try to make yourself busy just to shield away from, you know, putting yourself out there and interview. If you go to an interview, if you do one or two, 
right? First one, you might be nervous. Second one, but you are going to get hold of it on your third, uh, second or third try, right? And what is the worst case scenario? They're going to tell you no. Uh, I've not seen any single person on here who got the job and their first nose, they got slapped on the face. All they can say is that no, we are moving on, right? So uh, reason why I keep stressing on remember why you came here is your journey is not over. You are the top of the cybersecurity GRC mountain now in terms of the doing of it. Uh, but that is the bottom of the mountain of landing your first cybersecurity job. Right. So the top of a mountain is at the bottom of another mountain. And when you get to that top of that other mountain, that will be the bottom of the other mountain that you have to climb. Right. So if you get your first row, don't be too comfortable in it after six, seven months. Or even when you get it, start applying and start still continue with uh, other offers that are coming interview for fun right that is what i told everybody else i think like a year and a half ago and michael took my word for it he started applying okay doctor you said we should do this for fun he had gotten a, a role already he was applying for fun inter doing interviews for fun he really didn't need it and he got another role for the same job like for this <laughs> he was a grc specialist now he got a role for a grc manager he took it and he's doing the same thing in both jobs, right? And he can even play around with it and still interview. And when you do get, if you are doing that for practice, when you get the offer and they give you 120, you just come up with some ridiculous figure, 185. Before you know, they are like, yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll give you 185. Now, probably you are going to go to your other work and tell them, hey, uh, these people want to give me 185. What do you guys think? Right, so... What I'm I'm saying is I'm encouraging everybody, even if you don't need it now, still apply for jobs, do interviews. It is part of the learning process. You learn a lot from the interview as well, right? Reason being that it's not because you don't know anything, but uh, you will know that knowing something and convincing somebody you know something, how to do something, they are two different things, right? So now you are polishing that skills of, being able to convince somebody, a total stranger, that, hey, yes, uh, I'm a security professional. I've done these projects. I can do A, B, C, and D. I can help your company do this, right? That is, That needs practice. That really needs practice, right? So if you don't polish that skill by actually interviewing and you know uh, polishing it up, it is not going to get any better. So do not forget why you were in this program. And for your groups, do not dissolve your groups, right? If you are meeting maybe three times in a week, you can reduce it to one time in a week. And what you are now, your new project is holding each other accountable for interviews. So everybody, if you know you are going to meet this week and uh, engineer Clement is going to go through, okay, Olan, how many jobs did you apply for this week? And you're like, well, you know, I was busy. And if you are the only one always coming up with that, you are going to force yourself, you know, okay, these guys are going to, you know, be pestering me with applying. So let me just apply for some of it. And so, but if nobody is chasing you around and holding you accountable, then you might probably go to sleep on yourself and get too comfortable, right? And then the next thing that I saw for the job piece, I encourage everybody, right? Uh, Teresa, Bettina, ask them. They are some of their mates that they completed yes, the internship yeah. with who are not, or they will reach out to them. Hey, are you not applying? Well, I'm waiting for this to happen and I'm waiting for, some of them have not applied for a single job up to date. After seven months of completing the program, eight months, one year, right? So, uh, the jobs are there, but if you are not actively pursuing the jobs, nobody is going to give that. They don't know what you can do, right? It's like, doctor, I do want to sell oranges and I keep it all in my house. I'm not by the street side or I'm not in a grocery shop selling it. And I just want a miracle to happen. Somebody to discover that I'm selling oranges and just come home to my house. <laughs> How is a random person going to be knocking on my door and say, hey, uh, an angel revealed to me that you have oranges. So it doesn't work that way, 
right? And we all know that. So please, please, I mean, and I'm saying this because there's been a student, right, who holds the current record for one interview, one job. She was just shying away from, she will apply and when they ask her for an interview, she will just run away. And later I'm like, so what is going on? She came confessing, well, you know, to be honest, I was really scared. Like, scared for what? Like, wh wh why are you scared? I encourage her to go. And for her first interview, she got a job. First interview, she's the only one who has done one interview for one job. Right. So do not be scared. I mean, what is the worst case scenario? And you know, you have what it takes, more than what it takes. So just being able to articulate and all that comes with, you know, uh, actually preparing and going for it. And we are here to support you. Bettina is there, Isosa, Teresa, everybody, all the Michaels, they are, we are all here to support, right? We are rooting for you. So if you are not moving, uh, I'm not really sure what else we can do because even if we apply for you and we actually to go to the interview and you don't go, right? There's very little that we can do in that space, but you have way more than what it takes. And like Michael was saying, you know, Michael said he's speaking after just been in the program for six months. He speaks and people think, no, you've been doing this for years. Ask Teresa, ask Bettina. Same thing with them. They are working now. And on the job, people will pay, like people wouldn't believe you just got into cybersecurity because of the worth of knowledge and skill you are bringing to the table, right? There are a lot of people on the job who are winging it. I will tell you for a fact, 90% of folks in the cybersecurity space, they are winging it. And what do I mean by that? They took shortcuts. They don't have a strong foundation, but they are just, you know, uh, posing. So don't get intimidated by the, even the person who is interviewing you, right? We had uh, Frank went to an interview and he was, I think he had like three cybersecurity VPs and one director in the interview panel. Frank literally was the one schooling them on every single topic that they had. They didn't know about SOC 2. They didn't know about this. And Frank was breaking it down, the different types of SOCs. And after he's done, he talked to me and I'm like, you're not going to get a job. He's like, why? But I did so well. Yeah, because you showed too much. And these people, genuinely, they didn't know. It wasn't like they were playing dumb to see what he knew. Genuinely, they didn't know. And you are going to come and work for them. And you think they are there protecting their their job also as well. So they don't want you to come in and then kick them out because you are showing too much. Right. So that shows you that, and these people have been working in secret for them to be director of cybersecurity. Frank is just coming from no IT background. And for him to be schooling them on things that they have been doing their like their profession, they've been doing this for years. Right. That goes to show you the level of like what you get here. So don't underestimate it. You are not going to go anywhere and, you know, find yourself wanting. And like Theresa was saying, even after, you know, you've, you've, you've gotten a job, we are here to support you. But I can tell you for a fact, no single intern has reached out and they are struggling on the job. No single one. None. Anybody who will reach out will be on office politics. Hey, Dr. Edu, so they want us to do this or that, like what do you think? Or some people are just being bombarded or being loaded with a lot of work. And I'm telling them, no, you have to push back, right? Because we we're doing assessment in two weeks and three weeks doesn't mean that is how it's done. So if your manager who don't know any better wants you to do a risk assessment in one week, don't accept that because then that will eat into your family time. And, you know, you are, and when they see that as a pattern, now they are just, you know, loading you with stuff. So those are the discussions that we have. But to teach you how to do the job, that is done already. Everybody on here can. You can do the job with your eyes closed literally, right? So I encourage everyone for the application, do apply for the groups. Maintain it. This is your cybersecurity family. Do not let it go, right? Keep the meetings, weekly meetings. Keep it up. Even if you have to meet and just discuss family, you know, how... Uh, Clement's kids are doing and how your kids are, even if it's just for that, just keep that going, right? But uh, what I would say is for now, for I know everybody is actively engaged in, you know, some something and you are looking for uh, the opportunity to switch or to, but 
everybody is currently, I'm telling you, you are currently employed in cyber screening. And your employment is to interview. So look at it this way. You are going to actively for the next three months, four months, this is your part-time or your full-time job and your full-time job is your part-time job now. Apply and treat it, the application process, like somebody is paying you to do the applications and to do the interviews. If I was paying you right now 120 to do applications, 30 applications a day and to do interviews, five interviews a week, I don't think anybody on here wouldn't do it. Everybody would be like, yeah, sure. I mean, it's easy. So do that. Like you are being paid 150, 120 until eventually they are going to pay you 120, 150 for doing what you are doing now. Right. Look at it that way. So don't look at it as, uh, you know, going to an interview is stressful. No, look at it as your money is there. You know, they just have to give that money to you when they give you the green light. Right. So that is what I'm going to encourage everybody to do. And the groups hold each other accountable. All intern groups who have been very successful in the past, they hold each other accountable. They are calling each other. They are sharing, hey, I saw this opportunity here within your state. I think it will be a good fit for you. Right. Let's not kill the family that we've built over this time. You know, when we started, like you rightly said, we go through the different formations of like the different stages of team formation. We are bumping heads here and there, disagreements. But as we hit the performance, the you know, norming stage and performance stage, we are all working really well together. And now you are in the performance stage, don't let it go, right? Because it is hard to build a team all the way up to that point. So uh, you are in the performance stage in security. So this is going to be your first security team. Any other team is going to be a secondary team, but this is a safe team, a safe family that you can always fall back to, you know, if you have any security issues, discussions at work, let's learn from each other. When you go to interviews, uh, like uh, Bettina said, record your interviews, bring it back and play it to the group. Let them critique what you did. Let them also learn from it. Right. Similar to what we did for CyberChat for the past two weeks. Do the same. And if a group that is doing that, I can assure you within the next three months, everybody's going to land a job. That is a fact. Right. So uh, I encourage everybody also stay current. The last thing that I want to talk about is cyber security language. This is a language that you just became very proficient in. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So stay current, attend cyber chats, attend other webinars, you know, uh, read articles, subscribe to different uh, bodies within the cyber security space. Keep current with what is going on, right? Still continue to speak in the cyber security language. For your teams, if you are putting yourself together, you can revisit projects that we did, right? Look at it from a different perspective, discuss it. Or you can just simply come up with a topic. You are going to discuss it. You know, if it is interesting enough and you bring some, everybody's coming from a different point, we can even put it on cyber chat, right? This can be a discussion for the whole entire community, right? That is how you stay active and you stay informed. So if you don't use the cyber security language that you just became proficient in, it's like you went to college to study maybe uh, German, right? You became very proficient by final year. You got out, you even went to Germany for uh, a year for an exchange program, became very proficient. And then you came back to Arkansas. And for the next six years, you never spoke one single German. How well are you going to speak after that six years? You're probably going to understand a few words here and there, but you are going to be very, very rusty. So you, and you don't want that because in the security space, how proficient you are determines how well, you get paid, right? So although we know we are all starting from the 120s and the 150s, and remember that in five years time, your 100K will be a 50K. The value of it will be a 50K. So you want that by five years, you would have developed yourself where you're going to move into the 200s with a single job, right? Move into more leadership managerial roles that gets paid more. No, there are people that I know who are getting paid 700K a year and they don't know half of the things you know. 
it will surprise you. So don't underestimate what you have become, what you know you've built yourself to become. So that is going to be my last words. And yes, hold on, some are being <laughs> getting paid more than that, right? We have some VPs and stuff. The money is that they are getting paid. And so in security, there's money to move around. And some of these people, they have no clue what is going on. Half of the stuff that you know, you are going to be the one educating them on it. But guess what? They were bold enough to say, yes, I mean, I can be the VP for this company, even though I don't know that much. So with you, who knows, you know, much, don't underestimate yourself or sell yourself short, right? And then also desperation. Don't be too desperate. If anybody is offering you less than 100K for a security role, don't say, I'll take it because I want the spirit. No. If you take it, you've just saved them almost like 50K, 70K on their budget, right? So don't be desperate. And, you know, Bettina and the rest will tell you after they took their offers for 130 and when they got into the job, they're like, these people really, you know, shortchanged me. Could have pushed for 160 or 150. They would have given it to me. And yes, it's true. Right. So that will be my last words. I appreciate everybody's time. Congratulations. And for all our Rhythmus family supporting our interns, uh, I really appreciate, I really, really appreciate uh, everybody's time. And I'll hand it over to Isos. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Du, for the words of wisdom and the encouragement and all the recommendations. Looks like we have one hand up. Sandra, we'll go ahead and... Um, oh, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Real quick, I want to know if um they found where we're going to have the conference where in Maryland exactly. Thank you. So still still in the pipeline, right? Uh, the numbers that we were expecting to get, we are not there yet. So we're giving ourselves a week, and we are going to let it be known. Okay. Right. Thank uh, you. Thanks for asking, Sandra. Yes. Shango. Thanks so much. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Arithmetic Academy, everyone who's participated and came on to support us today. Um, to my nieces, parents, uncles, aunts, son who came today. Uh, Miss Sandra, who just left, is a phenomenal student. She was in a PCI class along with taking her GRC internship. And uh, she worked very, very hard. And uh, Mr. Morali, who is not here, is also in Dr. Deuce PCI class, as well as his G GRC internship. So I just want to give a shout out to them and to everyone else. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hard. All right. I think that's everybody. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to all of our graduates. Thank you to the entire a Redmus family for coming to support. Thanks to all the attendees, our family, our friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This has brought us to the end of our ceremony. And um, those of you evangelists, go ahead, you know what to do with the Redmus. <laughs> go ahead and evangelize. And those of you that are thinking about it, just go for it. Uh, we're very grateful to Dr. Adu and the entire community. Just want to say have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. And thank you for showing up. Congratulations once more to all of the graduates. Great job. Thank you. Have a great one, everybody. Thank you. Thank you too. Congratulations, thank you. everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. Congratulations. Bye, Dr. Adu. Bye, Dr. Adu. Bye, Clement. I'm going to miss you. God bless you. Oh, team ADDI, all the way. <laughs> uh, pick it up, bro. ADDI, all the way, baby. Hold on, you know, we got you. Hold on, we got you all the time. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Eddie. Thank you, everybody. Well, all right, thank you, everybody. everybody. Have a great weekend. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Bye. Most. Bye.